Hey folks, my name is Jürgen, aka Nerd and Proud of It, and Destiny has brought you to my channel today to talk about if Lord of the Rings is too expensive or if the price is justified. I'm very curious what you think. I have a pretty strong opinion about it, but we're going to explore it within this video. I think in general it's a good idea to first have a look what the Lord of the Rings boxes cost at the moment. It's a thing for me to look at the European retailers, at least at a couple of bigger ones I normally order from and I know where they normally put the price point for you guys in the US obviously it's a little different but I heard the boxes approach about $450 at the moment then we're gonna have a have a short look what's in the boxes afterwards as well uh, one shop I always like to check is Games Island. We got um, a reasonably priced draft booster box here for 150 bucks. Uh, the set booster boxes are a little more expensive, 165 bucks. And what is really surprising is the collector booster box, which is at 475 bucks. Um, the rest is uh, neglectable, I think. Uh, interesting is that the gift bundle is sold out for 60 bucks, but okay. Uh, they are able to deliver on the 15th already, which is about next weekend. Yeah, uh, set comes out a week later normally, but they are uh, they are sending out their stuff early. And I think nowadays it's not too crazy anymore. 475 euros. Last time I checked this, just as an info, on Games Island, it was about 425 euros, I think, for a collector booster box. Then we skip to Amazon. Uh, I got the Dutch version, but that's very representative of the European version. So comparing the 475 to uh, the Amazon price, which is 455 at this moment. I think that is really surprising because Games Island normally is the m cheapest European store you can order boxes from. I order from them regularly and they often got very, very competitive prices. Uh, just curious what the Commander decks cost. It's around 50, 50 bucks. 50 bucks for each Commander deck. Oh, okay. Uh, for the set, it's about a hundred and. 65 170 bucks i guess um interesting interesting uh last shop i wanna check before we um we talk about what i think would be a reasonable price point and if i think this is too expensive last shop i want to check is the dutch store i normally order from bazaar of magic a very big store as well they are normally more expensive than the rest I think it's very, very a lot more expensive. So when when a normal collector booster box is two hundred bucks, it's two hundred and ninety nine here or whatever. So they are normally really, really expensive compared to other European retailers. But they uh, hold to that high price point normally. And uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure if it works for them, but apparently it does because they've been around for a very long time and they're very big they have the booster box uh, the collector booster box for uh, 450 bucks roughly so that's the cheapest price of them all totally surprising to me really um if you look at the case it's about 2600 euros and that would bring it to about 400 and 35 euros per box so if you order a case that's actually actually reasonably cheaper uh, interesting is that <laughs> yet you can set an alarm for the one ring here i uh, love that uh remind me once it's in stock but okay um super surprising to me because not like i said normally they are the most expensive and that especially looking at the early pre-order prices looking at the fact that this set is not underprinted and we're going to have a look what we can find in these collector 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 boxes here um yeah normally it's only the collector boxes you can find interesting stuff in and uh, the draft and set boosters are an exception uh, to to all the interesting stuff yeah they want to sell those collector boxes so they definitely will not be underprinted I think uh, we can fairly assume that it will be available for quite a while. Then we got the holiday release as well, but those f boxes won't feature serialized cards. 
is this too expensive folks yeah that's a five minute talk about if a thing is too expensive or not i think it's it's um way too expensive for a collector booster box and uh i can i can live with 140 150 for one draft booster box if i just want to have that one draft booster box to play with i did that with dominaria remastered as well recently i just bought one box for 145 bucks and i think it's very expensive because i'm used to paying around 100 bucks for a booster box and you still find some booster boxes out there for 90 bucks looking at you zendika rising um i think in general the whole lord of the ring set of course is too expensive and it could be a lot less expensive and the fact that um, people go crazy about it, which I understand, and there's a lot of controversy and a lot of uh, stuff people like, a lot of stuff people don't like. But in general, I think it's an awesome looking set. Uh, can't argue with that. Just look at the, at the cards here and look at the serialized rings, nice ideas, look at the whole flavor. I mean, I, I explained more than once that I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan. I think I talked about uh, the book my mom gave me for my 18th birthday um, on the channel in a video. You can search for that one. I can try to find it and link to it after this video. Doesn't matter. Uh, just stuff like this, Gollum and the ring, and then you can combine the cards uh, or Frodo and Sam. Uh, and you can, I, I love that kind of stuff. I, I used to love that back in the day with, uh, for example, Versus System, I think was the first time I saw it. Uh, Pokemon, you see it. Uh, versus system you had like daredevil and the punisher double cards you had one card of daredevil one card of the punisher and then you put them together and you had like a really cool set this is the same here um, pokemon of course you had it as well all in all uh, i think the collector booster boxes would have been fairly priced at about 300 max 350 bucks but definitely not for um, 75 uh, or 450 um which they are currently going for i for one i might even consider buying a draft booster box but i will wait if it stays expensive it stays expensive if it uh, if the price comes down good like like it did with dominaria remastered i i don't need it right away i just need it when i want to play with my friends as i don't really buy a lot of seal stuff nowadays not uh, not into set collecting that much i might consider buying a set here and there and buying a bit more from uh, from that set but uh, we'll see in general to summarize folks if you're not really a, a high-end collector then i would suggest that you and, and you want to have to set right away uh, and you want to have the whole set and you want to have a chance on the one ring and uh, and so on and so on i would suggest that you wait a bit i guess the prices will come down i guess the current prices are very very high a bit too high actually and i think in general um if you pay 475 maybe even more for collector booster box that's almost 500 euros folks for a case of Lord of the Rings collector booster boxes, you can get yourself a very good condition mox. And not even like a bad mox, like the Emerald, but for 3000 bucks, you can get yourself a nice uh, light plate mox sapphire, or a really nice, almost good mox ruby, or whatever. Um, and if you're not into old stuff, fair enough. If you want to have the new stuff, all good. I'm, I'm just putting things in perspective. I would wait. I would honestly wait a bit, uh, see uh, where it settles out, and um, in general, what's what's the big, how, how expensive <laughs> do you think those boxes are going to get? A thousand bucks? Two thousand bucks? We've seen the Rudy video, he's making fun of it. Even he thinks reasonably priced boxes should be around 350 bucks, and I think that's very expensive. I remember when we paid 300 bucks for a collector booster box for the first time instead of 200 because they could they could ask it because the the stuff sells and then the price plummets sometimes sometimes it doesn't I'm reasonably uh, positive about the dominaria remastered collector booster boxes i would like to open one of those one day but uh yeah yeah they still at around 275 bucks so sometimes prices stay up but all these old booster boxes old uh recent booster boxes that now are considered old uh, because it's uh, longer than a month ago 
<laughs> that they have been released. All these recent uh, released booster boxes have been short printed. And I honestly believe that, uh, that this won't be the case for Lord of the Rings. So there will be plenty of supply and they really want to cash in on that one. And that requires not only a high price, but volume as well. So folks, my advice is again, if you want to buy it, buy it now, all good. But if you can wait and you're just hoping for the price to go down, then I would do so. And if it doesn't go down, just don't buy it. <laughs> Above 500 bucks for one collector booster box, I think it's just craziness. Have a great rest of the day, folks. I hope that makes sense. It's just my opinion. I wanted to talk about it. Uh, I haven't talked about Lord of the Rings a lot, but uh, it's everywhere, of course, so close to release. And I wanted to give you my opinion about it. Hope it helps in your decision making. And I hope you stay healthy. I hope you stay frosty. Thanks a lot for listening. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.